Hello, 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 my dear student. Throughout this week, we will be covering two lessons. The first lesson is 8-1, right triangles and the Pythagorean theorem. The second lesson is about trigonometric ratio. It's a very, very important lesson, and the previous one is also a very important lesson. So I advise you to focus, ask questions, and make sure that you understand both thoroughly. Going back to our first lesson, the essential question is about how are similarity and right triangles and the Pythagorean theorem related. Our vocabulary that we will be covering, the word is Pythagorean triple. After you're done with this lesson, you will be able to prove the Pythagorean theorem using similarities and establish the relationship in special right triangles. And this is even very important lesson. What is the Pythagorean theorem? The Pythagorean theorem only applies to right triangles. It states that the legs squared, their sum is equal to the hypotenuse square. Always keep in mind that the hypotenuse is the longest leg that faces the right angle. The legs are the two perpendicular sides. What are the properties of right triangles? Again, the 90 degree is one right angle that exists in the triangle. It's impossible for a triangle to have more than 190 degree angle. Keep that in your mind. 190 and the sum of the other two will be 90 since the sum of the three angles of a triangle measures 180. Now, A and B are interchangeable. It doesn't matter which one you consider as A or B. As long as you always point or label the right angle that uh, is opposite to it, the side that is opposite to the right angle, is the hypotenuse. I hope I made that clear. Now, the longest side of a right triangle is called the hypotenuse and is always located opposite to the right angle. Again, what is the Pythagorean theorem? The Pythagorean theorem states that in a right angle triangle, C square is equal to A square plus B square. And always when we take a theorem, we take the converse of that theorem. So the converse of a Pythagorean theorem states that if A square plus B square is equal to C square, then it is a right triangle. Okay, so then how can I know if the triangle is acute or obtuse? If it's less than C square, it means that the triangle is obtuse. If it's greater than C square, it will be acute. Now we have two special kinds of a right triangle, 45, 45, 90. And we have 30, 60. This is very important concept that you need to learn. For 45, 45, the sides are SS and the hypotenuse will be S radical 2. For a 30, 60, 90, the smallest size will be uh, S. Uh, the other side will be uh, S radical 3 and the hypotenuse is 2S. So always relate the shorter side with the hypotenuse. If that is S, then the hypotenuse will be 2S and the third side will be S radical 3. I hope you understand this lesson as you have understood every lesson before. Then we will discuss the trigonometric ratio the essential questions, what is sine, what is cosine, and what is tan, and how to apply them. Keep in your mind that trigonometry is a 
two words joined together, which means triangle measures. And this is a way to memorize them. So, ka, tua. S stands for sine, C stands for cosine, and T stands for tangent. So these three ratios are very important. It's the only way that you can find the angle from the side and the side from the angle, vice versa. I hope you will understand everything and make sure to ask if anything is not clear. Have a good day.